So, you need some shocker box storage solutions? Well, check this out. What's up everybody, I'm Broken Bones and welcome to Redstone in a Box. Today we're going to be showing you how to build these three really cool shulker box loading and unloading stations. The shulker box loading station on my right is a full on standard shulker box loading station that will load the shulker box until it's completely full and once it is, it'll break it and put it down into the storage system. The station right here in the middle is a manual shocker box unloading station. What you can do with this one is you can manually unload the items from the shocker box. It'll be broken and stored in this chest down here below. And the station here on my left is a automatic shocker box unloading station. Here it will unload every single shocker box in your system until it's completely gone. So as you can see if you hit this button here it'll unload a shocker box and it'll start unloading it immediately. Once that's completely empty it'll go ahead and store all the stone in this chest and store the empty shulker boxes in this chest. All of these designs basically have the same dimensions. They're all three blocks wide by six blocks tall by six blocks long. We're going to start things off with the shulker box loading station. And to build this one, you're obviously going to need a bunch of shulker boxes to go ahead and put in your system. Inside in here in your redstone in the box, you're going to need three redstone torches, two uh, comparators, four repeaters, five redstone, one observer, uh, one dispenser, six hoppers, uh, one sticky piston, a slab of your choice, uh, two chests, a button, uh, two stacks of building blocks, five stairs, Four uh, stone or blocks of your choice to go ahead and put inside of an item sorter. And obviously whatever you're sorting out, in my case I'm going to be sorting out emeralds. Over here you're also going to need a full shulker box minus one stack of stone. So make sure it's all the way full minus one stack of any item of your choice. It doesn't have to be stone, it can be any item at all. Start things off by placing in your chest. Next, you're going to go ahead and place a, a hopper right into the back of that one. So go ahead and crouch place one into the back of it just like that. Go ahead and crouch place a block on top of that one and one behind it as well. Over here, you're going to go ahead and throw a hopper into the side of that block. Over here, you're going to go ahead and put out a couple more just like this. To go ahead and hop out over here, break these two out, and place in a dispenser in that direction right there. Next, you're going to go ahead and hop around back here. And you need to go ahead and place a block down like this and one more again. Go ahead and place a block out like that and break this one out. Up here you're going to go ahead and place in a comparator just like this right here. A block up in front with a torch on its face just like this. There we go. Come down beneath. You can leave that block in there temporarily. Come out make that L shape right there and block, break that one out again. Put a repeater here set to four ticks with some redstone dust right here. Let me go ahead and get that out here. Uh, right there, there we are. Okay, so go ahead and put some of that redstone dust right there and right there. That'll go ahead and lock that hopper so anytime you're using the system, none of the items will go in until the shocker box is actually full. So what we need to do now is go ahead and carry the signal up here. We need to go ahead and put ourselves in a block up here with the redstone torch on that face just like that. Bring a block above that one right here, a block in front of that torch right there. So you can go ahead and put it in a repeater set to two ticks right here. Block up in front break that one out place in a sticky piston with a slab of your choice on the face so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a slab of our choice right here let's go ahead and get that in put that in right here just like that with a slab of our choice just like that that'll go ahead and break our shulker box anytime it's full so now what we need to do we need to go ahead and actually set this uh, comparator here to subtract mode go ahead and do that over here on this side we're gonna go ahead and place in three blocks just like this right there place in some more redstone dust Let's go ahead and get some of that back out here, right there. Go ahead and place that in right here. A comparator right here. Make sure that that's on subtract mode. And then over here, you're going to grab your shulker box filled to the brim, minus one stack, and place that in right there. That's going to go ahead and produce a signal strength of 14. So whenever you have a full one right there, it'll go ahead and overpower this signal and go ahead and activate the system. So that's how that overrides that. Next, we need to go ahead and power our dispenser uh, after this uh, shulker box gets broken. So what we're going to do there is we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves our iron block back. Let's go ahead and get that here. 
place a block right there and actually going to come down one just like that just like that right there all right go ahead and place in a repeater right there you can go ahead and place in uh, an observer right on top of that with a block on its face right there. That'll go ahead and power that uh, dispenser right there anytime uh, the system is done letting the chocolate box go through to the system. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and sort out what item we're actually going to be putting into our system. So what we need to do now is go ahead and come up by a few blocks right here. You can come up by a few blocks just like this right there and I think we can actually go ahead and come off right here I believe is where we're gonna go ahead and come off so go ahead and come up by one more just like this and right here you're gonna place one just like that break this one out and you're gonna place in a comparator right here just like that come up by two more blocks and step down one so one two and step down one just like that you just put one there and one there put it a comparator or a repeater right here set to two ticks grab your redstone dust and wire that up all the way up to here on the front of this block right here you need to place in a torch and then on the front of this guy go ahead and grab your items that you're going to sort out you're going to need 42 of those guys and then put four of any blocker item that you don't need in there and as you can see we're going to lose one item but that's going to go right into the system right there and actually I believe that actually went all the way down did it go all the way down sweet okay so you actually only need 41 because it's just system lets it go down so that's even better so now what we need to do is we actually need to load up all of our shulker boxes so now let's go ahead and put ourselves a hopper in here just like this grab ourselves a chest place that in here like that and then we can go and grab ourselves a bunch of shulker boxes let's go ahead and do that here grab ourselves a bunch of shulker boxes uh let's see here i'm crouched there we are let's go ahead and load up a bunch of empties just like that let's go ahead and grab some more there we go perfect all right cool Okie doke. So now that that's all uh, sussed out, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some iron blocks and let's grab our stairs here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a nice decorative front area for this. This is quite easy right here. So all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and box this in just like this. Make that look nice and neat all the way around the front. There you go. And then that's pretty much it right there. Now all you're going to do is build out your floor space and then just go ahead and accent, accent it however you like. Once you have the front area decorated how you like, go ahead and come right underneath your chest right here. Go ahead and place that, uh, replace that block with a light source, just like that. That'll light up the whole area, give it a nice illuminated look. Over here, you're going to go ahead and come behind this uh, hopper here, and go ahead and give that a nice completed look as well from the inside. You can go ahead and block that up as well, just like that. And as you can see from the inside, that'll go ahead and make that look a lot more complete. You can go ahead and block that off too as well if you like. Go ahead and block these off just like that. I believe that'll go ahead and complete uh, that up right here if you go ahead and go like that. Let's go ahead and check that out from the inside. It looks much better. There we go. Gives us a nice completed look. Now what we can do is we need to go ahead and place ourselves on a button right there. And as you can see, we can go ahead and dispense our first shulker box just like that. And that'll give ourselves our, our first emerald. Let's go ahead and take that out because, uh, let's see here, emeralds aren't the easiest thing to get in the inventory. Stone is. Let's go ahead and fill this guy up. Let's go ahead and test out our system. I'm going to go ahead and fill it all the way up. And when it finally does, it should break and then get put into this uh, box right here, the, the chest. Let's see here. This is the last time. It breaks, then dispenses out a new one, and there's the full one right there. So that's that tutorial all done. Next up is our manual shulker box unloading station. Over here in our redstone in the box, we have two chests, one dispenser, two hoppers, one observer, three repeaters, ten redstone dust, one button, one redstone repeater, two sticky pistons, one redstone torch, three slabs for your redstone, one light source block of your choice, two stacks of blocks, a slab, and five stairs of your choice. Over here, you're also going to need a bunch of shulker boxes. This, uh, in the demonstration, I'm going to be using empty shulker boxes, but it will be taking full shulker boxes of some sort, so you'll be unloading it manually. To get things started, you're going to go ahead and place in a chest on top of your light source block. Go ahead and come around back and crouch place a hopper into the back of that chest, just like this right here. There we go. Go ahead and crouch place a block on the back and then one up just like this and one down here just like that. You can break this one out here in the middle and actually you're going to go ahead and place a block out here just like that. Place in a comparator with a sticky piston facing upwards with the observer facing outwards in that direction. Place in a slab with a repeater set to three ticks just like that with a block up in front just like this. Come on down a block like that. You can break this one out. And over here you can come on down a block right here and go ahead and connect that up. Over here you're going to go ahead and place in redstone dust all the way around just like that. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this set up right here. Over here, you're going to go and place in a couple temporary blocks just like that. Go and break those out. And you're going to place in a dispenser right here on the side of this guy. So let's go and put that in here. A dispenser right there. That can break out right there. All right, so next we need to go ahead and place in our uh, piston to go ahead and break our shulker box, which is going to go in right there. And you're going to go ahead and place in a uh, decorative slab of your choice right here on the face of that one. Just like that. Once you have that in place, you can go ahead and button this all up to make that look nice and neat, just like this. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and button that up as well down here. All right, now we need to wire up that and our dispenser over here. So to wire up this, this is actually quite easy. What we're going to do is we're actually going to pull right off of this block right here, staircase on up just like this right here. There we go. And now what we're going to do is with our slabs, you need to go ahead and slab tower just like this right there and right there. And go ahead and place yourself a block right on the side of your piston just like that and wire that up all the way back down to your redstone down here. Just like that. Over here off to the side for your dispenser, we're going to go ahead and place in a couple blocks like this, kind of in a worm fashion, just like this, this up-down type of fashion, just like that, and you can break these blocks out down below. Go ahead and grab your repeaters. You're going to place two repeaters in here on single tick with one dot of redstone right there. Now we need to go ahead and grab our redstone torch. Let's go ahead and grab that one. Let's go ahead and grab that, and we're going to place that right there underneath our uh, hopper right there. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and button this all up. Go ahead and get your uh, outer ring all looking good and get yourself all decorated in. Once you have your front all buttoned in, go ahead and place in your button right there on the side of your dispenser and come around back. You can go ahead and break this block out right here on top of your dispenser and crouch place a hopper in top of that one with a chest on top. This is going to be for all of your sulker boxes, so go ahead and grab all of these and put these into the system. Once you've got that done, go ahead and place a block right here behind your hopper to make that look nice and neat from the front. And once you're done doing that, go ahead and press your button. You should see a shulker box comes out. Now, these should have items in there. Right here in the demonstration, they're empty. But you should have some type of item of whatever you're going to be uh, manually unloading. And once you do that, you can see that once you have items in the system, if you empty it, it'll go ahead and break that one out and dispense a new one. And that one will go ahead and go right here in this hopper. Now, if we go ahead and do the same thing, we'll go ahead and load that one up and unload it it'll break it again dispensing on a new one and that one will go inside the chest and that one will go inside the hopper so again let's go ahead and do it again to show you guys that it works let's go ahead and pounce that one and now we have two in the chest and we have, should have three now there we go and it just keeps on going all day long the manual soccer box unloader can be used in many applications, including bulk crafting stations, which is one of my favorites. The bulk crafting station is used for farms that have multiple items that need to be crafted, such as sugarcane farms, melon farms, iron farms, or anything of that sort that needs to be crafted up, uh, even guardian farms. So what you could do is you could go ahead and have one of these uh, uh, shulker box loading stations that loads up all of your items into shulker boxes, and when they're full, they'll be transported down here into this chest. Once they're in that chest, you can go and transport transport them over here to this shulker box unloading station where you can craft these up in one area. Instead of having a bunch of chests all over the place and having to access them all over, you can go and have one area where you access all of your items so it's nice, quick, and easy and simple. The automatic shulker box unloader can also be used in many applications as well, however different from the manual shulker box unloading station. I'll explain those here in just a second. This automatic shulker box unloading station would be used in something like a sorting system or a tree farm of that sort, and I'll show you why. The reason being is, say you had a bunch of bone meal for your tree farm, right? And you had it all in shulker boxes. Well, you can go and put it in this system. This system will go ahead and sort out all of your bone meal, transporting that to your tree farm, and then transporting all of your shulker boxes to a different location. And also, if you had a uh, sorting system, you could do the same thing. You could put in all of your shulker boxes filled with whatever item of your choice, put it in the system it'll dispense out take all of your items over to your sorting system while keeping all of your sulker boxes over here in a storage area and to build this one you are going to need two sticky pistons one observer two repeaters one comparator ten redstone dust three hoppers one dispenser three chests one redstone torch a button four slabs for your redstone two stacks of blocks six stairs and a slab of your choice and a uh, light source of your choice and over here of course you have all your shulker boxes that you're going to need to put inside your system 
And to get things started on this one, you're going to dig down one block and place in your light source, and then place a chest on top like that, with another one on top of it, just like so. Over here in the back, you're going to crouch place a hopper in the back, and in both of those. Crouch place a block on the bottom hopper, like so, with a comparator coming out of the top hopper, just like that. This is going to go into a sticky piston facing upwards, with an observer facing outwards, just like this, with a slab coming out from that one, with a repeater on three ticks. That's going to go up into a block like this right here, and that's going to come on down a block as well. Step on down right there, you can break these two blocks out. You're going to come on over one more and step up right there. We need to go ahead and grab our our uh, redstone torch right here. Let's go ahead and get that guy, place that in, and get ourselves some redstone dust all the way back up here to our repeater. Next, crouch place a block on top of your hopper right here that's going to be temporary and come out to the side by two blocks and break these two out. You can go ahead and grab your dispenser right here and that's going to go ahead and go right into the side of that one just like this right here. There we go. All right, and then you can go ahead and come up with a hopper right here just like this right there and then you can put a chest on top of it just like that. Go ahead and come on down here and you can crouch place a chest on the side of that hopper and grab your decorative slab of choice and go ahead and place it on the bottom of that uh, of that sticky piston right here. Now we need to go ahead and wire these all up and go ahead and box this all in. So go ahead and get this all in nice and neat right here. Box that all in just like so. There we go. Bring this over here like that. There we are. Perfect. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to wire up our piston and our dispenser. So let's go ahead and wire up our piston first. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a block in right there because that's where that's going to go ahead and go. And that's going to come over here right off of this circuit right there. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and come up with our other slabs. Let's go ahead and grab these guys here real quick. We need to place a slab right here on the side of that piston. Then we can come up with a regular block right here. Then we need to go ahead and build this little S shape right here with our uh, slabs just like this. You can go ahead and wire that all up just like so and that will go ahead and bring that all the way up to that uh, uh, piston right here. Next we need to go ahead and wire up our dispenser. So that's going to go ahead and come off the side right here just like this with this little worm circuit just like we had in the last one just like that. And then you're going to go ahead and step on up just right there. This is going to have one repeater set to two ticks right there with a dot of redstone there and there and that will go ahead and wire that one up. Now what we need to do is go ahead and decorate the whole system and get our shulker boxes in as well. So go ahead and get your shulker boxes, put these into the system just like so, there we go. And then of course you can grab your building blocks, start putting these all in place, and once you get these in, you can go like this. You're gonna go ahead and build this up here just like that. Put your button in the front here just like so, so you can power that one. Go ahead and build this up, up and around, just like that. And then when you get your floor in, what you're gonna do here is go ahead and build out just like this, right here, a little pocket, just like that. Grab yourself a stair of your choice, just like this, so you can access that lower, uh, chest right there and if you go like that you can have a nice little seamless four that doesn't have a hole in it but you can still access that chest down there so that's pretty nice once you've covered up the front, go ahead and come over here and test out your system. Now earlier I put in some empty shulker boxes, which I realized is since this is an automatic system, I should give you guys a good demonstration. So what I've done here is I've put in eight shulker boxes with eight pieces of stone each. So that should equal one stack of stone with eight shulker boxes. So let's go ahead and test out our system and make sure all that comes over here. So here's our first shulker box. Here's all of our stone, just like that. That's going to empty out. That should go ahead and come on down here, just like this right there. There's our first one right there. I believe it one, keeps one in the system. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and see all these empty out. Looks like it's doing pretty good. There's our half a stack right there. It's coming out pretty well. I think we're actually going to get a total of seven shulker boxes in here and one in the system. So let's see here. We're almost done. We got ourselves almost a stack of stones so far. It's going through every single one. This is awesome. There's the last one. And there's the last shulker box, and there it is. Seven shulker boxes, and I believe one's still in the system down here. Let's go and check. Yep, there it is. So there you go. That tutorial's all done. Well, hopefully that was really helpful to you guys, and you guys can go ahead and take this information with you into your survival worlds and make some really cool things with all these. You guys can go ahead and link these up however you guys like. You can link them into one another, and you can stack them on top of each other, put them side by side, however you want. There's tons of things you guys can do with these. They're compatible with each other. You can mix them back and forth. The soccer boxes can go from one station to another. It's really quite cool. So with that being said, I hope you guys can do a lot of cool things in your own personal survival worlds. 
and I hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did please remember to hit that like button and if you really liked it or if you're new to the channel please subscribe and as always share this video with all your friends I'm Broken Bones and I will see you guys next time